Hey all you beautiful people, I am here with Drake today. Hi. He, he looks a little annoyed because it's like the third time we've tried this intro. Our stabilizer that we got and Troy's boss gave us it for a Christmas gift. Absolutely amazing. Um, but it's acting a little goofy because I don't quite 100% know how to work it yet. So bear with us. But Drake has a project he's going to be doing today and he wanted to show you guys. I'm going to be planting catnip. Catnip. You want to show them the cool little plot you got? Yeah. I'm super excited about this. So. It said on the tag basil. I don't know if it's made out of that. I'm not sure. It looks like the, it looks really cool. Compared yeah. To normal pots. I think it is pretty cool too. We got some uh, potting mix, so he's gonna go ahead and put the potting mix in there. And while he does that, I'm gonna go wander over here by the chickens. And it's my first time doing this, so I might need yes, help. Yes, it is his first time. I will be over here in a second, mister. So, oh gosh. This is so weird for some reason. I don't know why, but um, we had a request that we show you guys the chickens. So I'm coming over here. Ah, what the heck? All right. Now we're going to open it up. Get back, guys. They have started to associate us with food, so they like to come hide by the door or stand by the door while we come in. But here are the chickens. Hey, Ro, what's up? How you doing, mister? This here is Dorothy, who's running away from me because I don't have any treats for her. And then we have Sophia is the other barred rock. And then these girls, <laughs> and they're, they're so confused by what's going on. They're like, what the heck? <laughs> so we have a lot of little ones here and um, they're still getting beat up a little bit by the big ones, which kind of sucks. But you know, that's what chickens do. They, they do the pecking order and it's, it's their thing. So, but they're, they're all pretty friendly. We're really lucky. The rooster has not given us any grief. I have heard a lot of horror stories about roosters and Rogelio is just, he's a big baby. He likes chin scratches. Oh, except for now, because I don't have treats. He's going to run away from me. Ah. Ro, why you do me like that? Why you do me to want no chin scratches today? Huh? Oh. Are you very interested in what's going on here, Henrietta? Oh. Huh? Henrietta, what are you doing? What you doing, lady? <laughs> no, he don't want pets. So they're mad at me because I came over and I don't have I don't have food for them so they're a little irritated but they'll get over it right we just got some pumpkins for free from some people who are giving them away on Craigslist and these guys love pumpkins and pumpkin I don't know if you guys know this and I didn't know this until earlier this year but pumpkin is a great dewormer for your chickens which is something I had no idea about so that's kind of a cool little factoid for you there I'm trying to see if I can get Ro. We call his name's Rogelio. Okay, so the story about Ro is we had the Golden Girls, and then we had Dorothy and or not Dorothy, um, Dixie and Henrietta. So when we started our flock, we had six, um, and the two Buff Orpingtons are Henrietta and Dixie, and then the Bard Rocks are Sophia and Dorothy. And then we had the Rhode Island Reds who were Blanche and Rose. Well, Rose turned out to be a rooster. <laughs> so Rose is now Rogelio. And now we have added Jane the Virgin characters to our cast of, of creatures here on the farm. So we have, let me see if I can get her. This little girl here is Jane. This is one of our Americanas. I'm thinking since her legs are blue, we might get some blue eggs from this lady. I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm actually getting really into the idea of looking at egg color and maybe breeding for color uh, egg color production. That's obviously a project that's going to be a bit down the road. I got a, I got a little bit of a learning curve going here with these guys, but um, so far they're really awesome. I love chickens. You know, she's not too thrilled with me at the moment. She wants to get down. But she's a good girl. She's very sweet. 
all of the little ones are pretty sweet. Um, I heard that Brahmas could be kind of aggressive and I don't know if it's because they're smaller than the rest of the chickens right now, but they are definitely not aggressive at all. I will say though, our Americanas are definitely our prima donnas. They're a bit like, you know, girly girl. They, <laughs> they don't like to be picked up. They scream sometimes. They have this really loud like squawk they do. But here are the, the ladies. This one here is, ah, she's running away from me. <laughs> she, we have Zoe and what was the other one's name? Lady. We've got Lady and then one of the, um, one of the Americanas. Wow, my words aren't working again today. I don't know what it is. I must be tired, but another one of the Americanas is, um, Petra. For, so if you know anything about Jane the Virgin, we have Jane the Virgin cast here. But this here I wanted to show you, guys, the chicken coop. It's done. I mean, it's not 100% done. We still need to get the corrugated roofing on. But the kids and I did this by ourselves. This is literally the first thing I've ever built in my life. I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, it's not pretty. It's definitely not square because we used pallets and the pallets were pretty warped. So we kind of had to go with what we could but it functions it's awesome this side i'm going to cut open and get uh some nesting boxes put in on this side and have doors that flap up kind of like the front door does here um and that's how we're going to access eggs right now nobody's laying um i think the big guys will probably be doing it pretty soon though we do check the coops every day just to be safe but then on this side of the coop we have our access doors for cleaning and we just took it one of the siding panels that we use for walls and we cut it in half and then we have little you know kind of redneck um, levers because I didn't want any critters getting in there so that's kind of how it's held closed we did use the um, the hook and eye that have this um, little latch on it and you have to kind of pull down on the spring and we did that because I don't know if we have any raccoons in our area but I know that raccoons are pretty crafty and they, I can't close it um, and they can get into coops pretty easily whoa be nice oh was that Sophia it's, they're picking out their feathers. They're being jerk faces. And we had kept them separated. We had them separated for what? Probably about weeks? Like two, two weeks I think we had them separated. We had a fence between them here in the run. Um, these guys are not out to free range yet, which I kind of am not happy about. But we need to get some more fencing up. And um, I know chickens will come back to roost, but at the same time, we live on a really busy highway and I don't want to risk losing many of them to to the traffic. So right now they're they're stuck in their run, but we do make sure they get lots of greens in here. And um, I'm going to be getting some hog fuel because we, we've had a lot of rain and there's gravel in their run right now. But um, it gets really muddy and yucky. So in order to avoid things like bumblefoot and all that, I'm gonna get some hog fuel, put it in here, and that'll give them something that'll have better drainage than um, all the gravels kind of like impacted into the soil. So it's not doing much. Um, this project we got going on here is actually a shed that my mother-in-law had her friend build. And we're working on getting some siding onto it. Um, we got the tarp paper on it to help waterproof it. And trying to get all these projects done and there's a lot going on they love my shoelaces they they think they're worms or something but um yeah so these are the chickens and then i'll take you guys over and we can show you the bunny setup and you can we can introduce the bunnies to you guys see how they're all like yeah, I'm ready. they want to come over let me out Okay, you didn't fill all the soil. That's good. I know, I know that part you don't have to, you don't do. Well, usually you don't time. have to bury those seeds too deep, but we'll talk more about that in a second. So outside right now, it is kind of 
a disaster. Like my clothesline is being held up by a piece of plywood. It's it's hard to get outside and do a lot of work, so we kind of come out when it's not raining and do as much as we can. But we have this little alcove here. It's between our shop and our house, and it's got a roof over it. So this is where we keep the rabbits. Um, when we get really heavy rain, we do get some water that comes down here, which is why they have a tarp. Um, Drake, if you want to give me a hand here, we can introduce the rabbits. So we have this little guy here is Remus. And these are Rex rabbits. Um, we bought them from somebody who breeds meat rabbits. Oh, these guys the are not going to be for meat. They're pets. But, you know, it's kind of like an in case. The sh It's the fan, you know, kind of thing. That's why we did this. So, And then we've got the girls down here. Nala and Juniper. Nala and Juniper. That Nala. is Nala. And Juniper is behind her. I am trying really hard. There, I think you can see her. <laughs> they're they're a little skittish yet because they were kept um, in rabbit cages at their old house. And then Remus is the most social. Yeah, and I unfortunately I'm gonna have to cut this video short. We'll have to show you Drake's planting in another video because I only have five percent battery for some crazy reason. But <laughs> it was great taking you guys around, showing you the chickens, telling you about Drake's project and introducing the bunnies. We'll definitely be having them on here more. So I hope you guys all take it easy. Have a great night. See you later. Bye. Bye.